Here is our world as it is now. Seven continents, seven separate pieces. These pieces or plates are separated by large bodies of water. But would you believe me if I told you they weren't always in their current positions? What if I told you that there were once a supercontinent made up of all present day continents that existed over a hundred million years ago called Pangea? In 1912, geophysicist Alfred Wegener proposed the continental drift theory. Using his findings in continental fit, distribution of fossils, ancient climates, and exploring Earth's polar regions, he stated that the present day continents were once the supercontinent Pangea. Gradually, over time, the plate tectonics began to shift apart and eventually Pangaea became seven pieces that formed their own present-day continents. This movement of plate tectonics drifting away from each other is called a divergent boundary. Even now, as we speak, the Earth and its plates are moving ever so slightly. The Himalayas, 2,900 kilometers that span across India, Pakistan, China, and Nepal, it is the world's tallest mountain range. The Himalayas is home to one of the world's tallest peaks, Mount Everest, but million, millions of years ago, the vast mountain range ceased to exist. It wasn't until 220 million years ago that, we began, that what we began to call India began moving northward. India traveled 6,000 kilometers before finally colliding with the Asia Plate 40 to 50 million years ago. The Indian landmass began pushing the Asia one, causing the Asian landmass to move up. This movement, or collisions of plates, is called a convergent boundary. The collision of the Indian and Asian plates are what formed what is today the Himalayas. In it's one of the most scary natural phenomena. It can be felt for miles, causing destruction in its way. It's an earthquake. These forces of nature are caused when plates slide along one another. This scraping of plates is called a transform boundary. One of the most famous transform boundaries exists in the San Andreas Fault. This boundary is located in California and causes annual earthquakes in the area. The western side of the boundary is gradually sliding north. This movement is causing the land to shift northward at about 6 centimeters per year. Eventually, the present cities of Los Angeles and San Francisco will be side by side. 